There are many motivating factors behind a decision like that because it takes a lot of time to do a book like this. Um, one was my long-term interest in Klimt Kokoschka and Schiele, the three Austrian modernists. Um, my fascination with Vienna 1900, with Freud. I wanted to become a psychoanalyst. And I'm Viennese, so I have a intellectual history, particularly in turn of the century of Vienna. Um, but an immediate stimulus actually came from Lee Bollinger. I mean, I would have written the book without Lee. Um, but the conception of the Mind-Brain Behavior Initiative as something that would not only have as its mission one of the great goals of biological science, and that is to try to understand the human mind in biological terms, but also to use that insight to bridge between the biology of the brain and other areas in the humanities. Music, art, psychology, sociology, economic decision-making, etc. Lee expressed the belief that he thought that the new science of mind could have a major impact on the academic curriculum. And he said, and I'm almost quoting him, um, that in a sense everyone at the university works in the human mind. I really felt that I'm doing this for purely personal reasons, but isn't it wonderful that this is also in line with one of the missions of the university.